Welcome to the Box to Path show, where we dive deep into the realms of education and financial literacy. We blend insights on college education, career prospects, and the necessary financial to stay on your path. I'm your host, Thiers Nohar Sethi, and today, I am thrilled to have our co-host, Dr. Gordon Chu. Dr. Chu is not just an author, innovator, investor, and scientist, but also a visionary who has completed Warden's Advanced Management Program and Harvard's Business Analytics Program. He has co-founded his startup Fingra in February 2023, which has won that year's Global Tech Technology Prize at the Harvard Business School New Venture Competition. Let's welcome Dr. Chu. Good there, Dr. Raj. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Dr. Chu. So for today's edition of the Boxer Path Show, I really wanted to, t- I, I really wanted to talk about the direction of Boxer Path mm. and how we see how me and you see box path five ten years from now mm. so do you have any thoughts well um we have um from the very beginning when i went on this journey um just to look at public schools and private schools and to put it blankly uh you know it was really from the interest as a parent what it was and a reminder to myself as I went through this journey, how we all forgot what it was like to be a fifth and sixth grader. Mm -hmm. Um, And in teaching to that group, that core group, sixth grade, but from a parent's perspective, I said, no, everything we're testing kids on these days and teaching them is from 500 to a thousand years old. And then we're, Every year we go after looking at who's number one. Um, and, and ultimately, we end up in doing so, making people feel really bad about themselves, making them feel like they're not good enough. And, um, and, then, and then they feel really depressed and, and they, they have nowhere really to go in talking about their feelings. Um, mm. and, and if we were treating fifth and sixth graders as, uh, as like the human body, you wouldn't tell a person, a part of your body to say, oh, this part of the body isn't good enough. Let's get rid of them. Right? What you would try to do is work on the body part. If you're a, if you're a sports a- a- athlete, you try to heal faster. If you're not in sports and not in competition, you might heal slower, but you still want to heal because we want everybody to do well, not just the winners. Picking winners means that everybody else is not a winner and feels like a loser. And that's just terrible. That's a very, very terrible situation. Um, and it, it goes against what this country, the United States, really stands for. I mean, we do not have people living longer than other countries, yet we invest more than any other country in our medicines, in our science and technologies. Mm-hmm. And we don't have anything to show for it because our people are not living longer. They don't have a higher quality of life. And we say, so what? We don't care about that because one day, what if we're able to make life, make people live to 160? All of a sudden, we break through and all of that effort was worth something. And that's what I mean by being proud to be an American is I see this country as the only country that keeps betting, keeps betting even after they're losing and it doesn't matter whether you win or lose, you just keep betting, keep betting on the goal of getting people to 160 years old with an incredible quality of life where nobody has to be number one. I see. We're all winners. Now, that dream is incompatible with what sixth graders and fifth graders go through today because, because they, they're constantly being put through the same game. Mm-hmm. The same competition, you went through it, I went through it. And in the end, um, people feel really bad. They said, oh, I, I didn't I didn't get into this place or I didn't that we need to start getting out of that mode and um, and really focus on on making sure that we we take care of each other, right? So box to path really is about, you could be inside the box, you could be put inside the box, mm-hmm. or you could be an outside the box thinker. So it, both inside and outside the box are two situations, um, both um, you know, 
standard or mm. some exceptional case where you're outside the box thinker. You've heard of those terms, but it doesn't matter if you're inside or, the, or outside the box. That's, so it's either one or the other. Um, you need to develop a path of independence, all right, of independence where you don't need because you know you won't have a job waiting for you when you have your diploma out of college, right? You may not have that. I mean, it's quite odd uh, to keep thinking that there are people waiting for you at the end of the day. Because then, then what happens is you then want to need to study things in the hopes of these companies or places that won't be hiring you Right? That's an imaginary case versus developing something that is meaningful, right? It's meaningful mm -hmm. because you are part of this ecosystem. You are a valuable human being, and all human beings are valuable. And it is in creating that opportunity, this platform, box two path, right, to help you discover the path. Um, how many times have I worked on discovering my path? And and then as I changed the the path or I changed what I was doing, it wasn't easy. But here's another way of looking at it is I got practice to build that path better and better, right? Most people, they have, they retire and that's it. But if, what if our goal was to get a PhD in retirement, then you'd have to retire many, many times in order to kind of understand what retirement's about. What if we all had to go through more times and looked at it dif differently, right? So having this platform allows us to one day have these live discussions. And right now these are all pre-recorded. You're you're fresh out of high school, so you know you're you're you you're, you have interests, but I'm sure there are other people in this country, in the world, that have incredible interests, but there's no place for them to talk about these things or to even be part of a a group that discusses this. I mean, what if, what if we look back and say, how could we have made ourselves, our lives better, right? And it is being part of a network that cares about each other on this topic, on this topic of what what am I most concerned about? And today, being Labor Day, um, September first, twenty twenty four. It doesn't matter when, when we release it. We want to record today. If Once we have live channels, we'll actually be able to say the day and, and the day will be the day. Yeah. And imagine, you know, what are most sixth graders thinking about? They're, they're, they're thinking about what the last sixth graders thought about the fall, the previous year and the, and the year before that and 10 years ago is I need to be prepared um, for that teacher, the meeting up, my homeroom teacher, the other teachers, um, and that's, is that it? Does that work? Right. Versus mm -hmm. um, maybe, maybe there's something else that makes most more sense. Um, so we maybe, are, right. Maybe we need to share what we experience in the homeroom with the other kids who should also share what they experience in the homeroom. And then we all put together thoughts and say, this isn't working. Or maybe we have to have a trip somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, by us being a collective group, we get the trip to have to have a better experience with the trip because we have the buying power mm -hmm. amongst 600 sixth graders, let's say, right? Mm -hmm. Or 500, six, whatever the number is, there's strength in numbers, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. there's strength in information. There, there just is, I mean, you know? And, um, and I, um, I mean, we are going through something right now you were asking me, you know, who's listening to this stuff? I don't know. I mean, I wish I had something like this when I was a sixth grader. Mm -hmm. um, so I was wondering more on mm -hmm. how can we provide more impact, right? Because words can only go so far. How do we take the next step and turn those words into action? Why don't so we help people pay for their colleges? Give them a scholarship. Like pay for it all completely. I think that would be very impactful. Mm -hmm. All right. Start writing up the that checks and say whoever gets yeah. right, whoever gets now that that becomes a competition again because some people yeah. won't be able to get that. 
So there's an issue with competitions, as we know. Yeah, but yeah. if we did that, everybody would know about it because who doesn't want to get a scholarship, right? Everyone does. Right? And all we have to do is be a matchmaker for people who also want to... Like, There's a lot of people who want to help sixth graders. They want to find the best sixth grader in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean, though? What is the best sixth grader? Every year, there's a best sixth grader. So if we became that platform... And um, then suddenly everyone will tell each other because there's some, there's a prize right at the end. Yeah. Um, that would get noticed right away. Is that the right direction though? No. Um, and well, it no. can be anything because this this platform doesn't exist. No one does this for sixth graders, right? So so we're unique, but sixth graders just don't know about it yet, and their parents don't know about it yet because it depends on what we become to them, right? We could mm -hmm. we could do. The competition, uh, you know, and then and then and then and then look for the top performers that are going to save us. And, and the reality is, if you take 500 year old material and say, "I'm going to test and look for the best performer," that does not equal the future innovator because someone who scored perfectly in the 500 year old material doesn't equal that they will have new ideas, right? So we. We know there's a gap. Now, you can't have no knowledge, right? Because we also know that if you don't know your knowledge, you don't know your physics, you don't know your chemistry, you don't know your biology. In sixth grade, we taught, it's called science, right? General science. It's going to be hard to, to come up with something. Programming, and I know you like that, coding, that's easy because that's a subset. It's a language. You, you do something, you program. But yeah. that's not discovery, Right, that is implementation rather than discovering like a new element. Yeah, yeah, All right? yeah. that's different. They're very different. Um, but if you're going to come up with someone who has a breakthrough, they need to have a breakthrough of something that's novel that isn't not. It's not just never having been done before, but it just didn't ex anything like it didn't exist. They have to come up with something that completely is novel, true innovation, and then the innovation has to be connected with impact. Right. So you, if you're innovative, but you know, you came up with something that's new, but doesn't have an impact to a problem that we currently have. Then, 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 then it it has a very low impact score. So you have you to see. tally these things, right, and look for these winners. But at sixth grade, what kind of abilities do you have when people even out of college don't have that ability yet, right? Exactly. But it is very noisy if you start connecting sponsors. We can easily connect sponsors. I mean, because sponsors look for opportunities to um, to advertise their brand, to um, share that they care about sixth graders, like we're doing, um, and then they get they get to be a platinum sponsor or a gold sponsor. You know, there there's yeah. these things that exist, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, this very week, you reached out to me because I guess you saw the video, right? And um, and yeah. I got a free private jet picking me up to fly me down to uh, over to New Haven, Connecticut, then down to Cape May, New Jersey, then over to East Hampton, New York, waited for me until I was finished with the, my meeting. So a good seven hours or so, six hours, but three hours of the initial transition between those three places, had all my meetings and then arrived at that place. And then they waited for me for you know, six hours and then and then picked me up and flew me back home. Right. So what if we could take opportunities that are exotic, that are unusual? Um there's a there's a voice message for me um from uh a particular country where they are interested in, in the finger technology, which you, you talked about. Mm -hmm. um, they're interested because they currently have a lot of money they make but in only in oil and gas, they're not in the United States. They're outside. Um, they, they're in another country. They're interested in investing into the future because they know they can only make so much money on oil and gas today. And it's not looking good in the future. So they want to invest in advanced materials, right? So that's another opportunity. I oh, could wow. share some, right? I could share some things that are happening, right? You yeah. know, why would anyone fly you out there with a private jet? It's not, you know, it's not, exactly. it's not right the whole day, right? So yeah, yeah. these are kinds of things I wish I could take a sixth grader on, right? Um, yeah, yeah. 
right? And um, and then um, and then in the future, you know, there's a lot of runoff right now with the storms and everything, and there's a lot of erosion issues, and these erosion issues are going to affect eventually our food security. Um, so certainly in the science world, there are some things that sixth graders could work on, and maybe through those related sponsors, we could also create a winner in that particular area. So there might be, we might be able to do more than one winner, right? Because there's so many different areas of great concern. In fact, another area of competition would be if you could change sixth grade, because that's a pivotal step for everybody, how would you change it so that the future could be made so much better? Like tell us sixth graders, what would you do? And you said in a competition essay, and you, you you let you let everybody see it, and you open source it so that we can now breathe fire into what we're talking about, right? Because there's something wrong. Your age and my age, we're not the same age, and yet we both agree that there was something wrong. Um, I had to do all kinds of things to make sixth grade less relevant. You know, my performance in sixth grade is less relevant to my future and or my present. Um, what if? Imagine if we didn't have to do that anymore. Imagine if sixth grade was relevant, more relevant to your success, and you didn't have to go and and do things. Um, how do we how do we do that? We must bring in sixth graders of today of each year, uh, and better to let fifth graders participate because fifth grade is the entry point into sixth grade, and so to open that up and then to give them a prize that comes from a sponsor that is also looking to, they, they want to advertise that they care about human beings in general, right? The future and kids. So we're building the, the platform for all of this at Box Path. Yeah, helping people um, want to develop a path, right? They all come from a box. In fact, you and I come from either inside the box or outside the box, right? And not everybody else, same thing. We can categorize them. Are you in the box or out of the box? And then you could even sell shirts, right? That that you know that that are you're in or out the box. And then, yeah. but you know, finding your path. That's a that's an art, and a science, right? In the sense that you want to have enough. But you don't want to have too much. If you have too much, sometimes that comes with a curse in the sense that, you know, you never get out of your your own way because or you never have time because you sold well, you sold more than you have. Um, or you took on too much risk and it blew up and now you're you're now stuck, right? Yeah. Instead of on your on a path, you're now stuck. Um, or because you worked so hard, you took on so much risk and you succeeded, took on a new disease. And so you came from in or outside the box, and now you're being put inside of a box that's called your funeral box. Now you're dead, right? Or incapacitated. So how's that like? Well, Not good. Box of Path is a really perfect name, right? Because it, con it considers, you know, who wants to be in a box before they need to be in a box? A permanent box. Nobody. Right. So that's the business model. Open it up. Let people start. I mean, who, like you asked me, like, are you sure you want to tell people this? I said, why not? You know, this is this is a different way of developing a business, right? Very different. You know, right? Because we don't have a lot of time. The whole world is 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 um is in uh it's in disarray. We can pretend it's not, right? But um it the is. price of stamps went up. Um, the price of eggs went up, but there's no, there's nothing wrong, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, um, and then now um, more than it used to be like 20% of people used to be doubtful of the COVID vaccine. And now the numbers only went up. And then there are some studies saying that natural immunity is still the way to go. So even when you take COVID, there's so many different, concerns, right? Not everybody agrees, but if you take education and sixth graders, mm -hmm. there's more disagreement about that from grown adults that if you disagree or you want to change the world, can you be, would you like to be our sponsor? Not sponsoring us box the path as a place to, um, to, to, to sell equity and raise capital. That's not what we're about. We're about to sponsor it 
individual human being from sector or so and so or this particular school district and and do that and then and then we 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 let we let you um as a sponsor um help participate cast your vote into who who wrote the essay on how they would change the future like what, what should there be more homework more homework is that what it is um would you like more homework um or the type of homework um a better way to um to teach our kids so that they're not yelled at or they're not mm -hmm. told they're not good enough right maybe 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 it's not the it's not the content but it's the delivery let's hear it from right from them and let's get sponsors i to think sponsor show them the mm. the light at the end of the tunnel right because back when we were, we were in sixth grade at least me personally i was not thinking this far mm. you know about right now right sorry you have to think far now yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But back when I was in sixth grade, I was not thinking about building something, making impact, solving a real world problem. And if I was, I would be much, much better positioned in life now. So, yeah. So yeah, that's that's how I would view this, and we don't have to make it really long or uh, or arduous. It's um, I think that that would it would help people because people always get attracted to incentives, and um, I know I do. Um, I mean, I, I'm sure you do as well. Uh, when there's scholarship out there, people look for it. If there's a way yeah. to um, to win something and to separate yourself out, um, you know, it could be it could be anything um, from um, from how you uh, write poetry to how you sing and perform and how you publicly speak, there's sponsors for everything. And I mean, obviously, I, I don't want <laughs> us to become a company that sells like C two that sells SAT prep prep. That would not be good. No, I don't think that that's no. um, that's that's really why we we do this, right? No, um, no, I think no. that this this is really to help individuals no. have a place to speak and. Um, and um, but that doesn't mean that you can't sell trinkets and T-shirts either. So yeah. I think that you let um, I would highly suggest letting the public listeners and people as they develop and they find this recorded podcast in 9-1-2024. So it might be 2025 when someone listens to this and then they start adding their comments underneath the um, the. Um, Right, the comment section, and they say, "Oh, let's do this," and you can start collecting all these ideas, right? Awesome. I'll, give you, I'll give you another example. Oh, um, yeah. I have this show in Asia, and um, I, I didn't think that I'd make I'd be, I'd make um, a mouth cream today. I mean, we have toothpaste. Why do you need a mouth cream? Well, the reality is that um, our toothpaste aren't made with very high quality stuff, and our toothpaste only works on our teeth. It doesn't work on in between the in between the teeth, like in the in the gum and in in, in between teeth area where you stick a toothpick in there or a dental floss. Um, yeah. you, you actually need to um, put a uh, put a new material. You don't you wouldn't put toothpaste in there so that you you get better health between the teeth and the gums. Uh -huh. um, so that is a product that became created, right? Oh wow! Today, yeah. I mean, I I'm sitting on, on um, on that product, and uh, and so it it will be launched um, within you know I, I believe it will be launched between before the end of the year or maybe the the first month of next year. But this would not have happened without the audience contributing that I want that product, right? So mm -hmm. obviously, Box of Path is not a place to make mouth cream. Right. Yeah. Mouth cream doesn't even exist, right? It's it's always been toothpaste, but yeah. but you know it's like it's like um and so instead of putting calcium carbonate, right, as a as the ingredient that you find in toothpaste, we actually put um, French green clay, right, uh, which is you know what women use for their facial masks to make them look younger. Putting that clay material in there, which has a whole subset of um, categorizations around. Um, good for teeth as well as good for face and skin um is changing that and you can only change if you have an audience right so developing the audience and then it's a it's a it's a positive feedback right because you have people who want to see change come jump aboard in order oh. to change right 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, box pads mean uh, main group is going to be people that are interested in their careers, in their future. But also people who have sixth graders, like anybody who becomes a parent will eventually have a sixth grader. <laughs> so, yeah. so then, right? And then also yeah. anybody who's been a sixth grader, it's like Uber. Anybody who believed in Uber is because they had ridden a taxi before and they had a bad experience and now they they want to contribute or Airbnb because they they were in Airbnb because they were in a hotel and they just didn't think it was so great. So they wanted to to create this opportunity or some people who have their homes, but they're not really using it all the time. And they think uh, they're rented. But initially, uh, if you look back at the history, people said, why would anyone do that? Imagine the risk of having someone stay in their home. Well, the market showed that People do want to get together and people do want to have community because you, you know, you're not stuck with just your friends in that high school. I mean, why should it be sixth grade is such an important time. Why should you rely on your high school or your sixth grade community to be your only community? Why should you allow your or, or, or just rely on not allow, but rely on your summer camp to be if you know, if your parents pay for your, your camp to be your social community? Your community should be much bigger than that. It should be um, the entire Northeast Coast, the, yeah. or the South Coast, or you know, the whole country. There should be, um, you know, with technology today, you should be able to find people, put in your attributes, and then find people who are um, are one yeah. step removed, different. Or, oh, here's an idea for you, right? You like to write programs, right? Is to be able to create a matching thing to create these. Um, these different guilds, right? Kind of like a video game. You create like, different guilds of people who have some interests. Let's say they had camping, but the campers also like mountain climbing. Well, let's see that, or rock climbing. And then, oh, maybe campers like um, uh, water and, and fishing and fishing events and water events. And then maybe you could create sponsorships, not just to sponsor winners, but sponsorships around... Uh, bigger trips with discounted trips where the group trips could go. Um, you know, I was in the theater with my kids the other night and, um, and there were barely anybody there. You know, I just had to have them see twisters and, um, and, you know, and, uh, and then, so I, I saw that very, very few people attended. Uh, so since there are empty seats anyway, why can't box the path be something where we also give things out there to help drive, um, attendance, but also at a, at a greater discount since you weren't able to sell those seats anyway. You know? Yeah. Right. I feel like your tickets and other things. I mean, this, the, the sky's the limit really. When you think about it. Uh huh. Yeah. We can bring together so many great minds in walks the path, you know, because there really is no community that there is none. I mean, you know, the time between sixth grade and the time you get to seventh grade and eighth grade and then high school, you can't, there's too much risk to rely on your school. I mean, what is that anyway? Or your grade, right? Um, it's, it's based yeah. on your, it's, it, I think it kind of boils down to money, right? Say you go to a school in, in, um, in a poorer district. Your life is influenced by that. Yeah. yeah, but also it's just not, like even those places that have greater premium, if they had money, it's not true diversification. Like you grow up and you don't, you know, a lot. Like it's true of all schools that, like for example, let's say you're you're from an ethnic background and you go to that school because your parents had some money, and you go there, you don't have the same experience as um, or or me. You you mentioned I, I was at Wharton or 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 Harvard. Well, my year is different than the next year or the class and because it's dependent on the interactions, right? Of what you do with each other and classmates and things like that. But I've interacted with other classmates from other years because I, I chose to reach out and do that, right? By being part of the TED Talk and an advisory, now other people who graduate from other places end up meeting me. I mean, it's not a flood of, of, um, of thousands of people, right? I couldn't handle that capacity. But yeah. I end up meeting people from other years, and I find that some other years are better than my year, and my year is better than another year. But what if we were able to group together all of the best ones from those years 
and we all became part of the community. First of all, how you do that is the ones who left sixth grade who still wanted more, right? Mm -hmm. See, in sixth grade, you're being spoon-fed. You know, yep. you're linearly being spoon-fed, literally being spoon-fed. These are the classes you need to take, right? And then you get to college, and you're still being spoon-fed, right? But what happens when you're done being spoon-fed? You graduate, and then some of us feel so uncomfortable now because we're on our own mm -hmm. that we go back to wanting to be spoon-fed. So we go to graduate school, right? Mm -hmm. But if it really worked, why would you feel that way when you're when you're graduating, right? It just doesn't work to be only spoon-fed. Um, now, not being spoon-fed at all also has its failure, failure point. So what you need is, at the end of the day, is community. People to, to look at each other's things um, and to also remember that groupthink is a, still a problem, is that just because you have community doesn't mean you just listen to each other. You you have to listen to different voices. And then ultimately, you still have to think for yourself and think about things. But a place where you can do that does not exist. Just doesn't exist right now. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And most of the other institutes out there for fifth, sixth graders are mainly the, the what, like, math counts, mathanasium, C2, they're all profitable businesses you know they don't teach no, that's just taking like that's just like yeah. first of all the place you went to with the ted talk uh upenn none of those kids had issues with their scoring abilities no no they didn't right but when i'm involved with them and i meet others who care about involving with them they're all adults who went through undergraduates but they we still like the undergraduate aura and feeling so that's why we're involved and that's how why we get together and and that that's a it has nothing to do with um what most people think it's just we miss the undergraduate it's just we don't want to be an undergraduate forever but we miss that feeling box to path is i do it because i don't get paid to do it i do it because i miss being a sixth grader the good parts of it is that i felt i could do anything in this world mm -hmm. at the same time being a sixth grader is that you can't do anything Right, you can't really do anything until the adults let you do that. But you're, you you will be a leader. So how can we make you into a better leader? Right? How can we allow a creative place where you can just hang, and stay as long as you want? You can be a tenth grader. You can be a college student. You can still come back because, like I I look at myself and I tell my kids all the time is I'm I'm still a kid at heart. I haven't given up that. And um, I'm now an adult and I have responsibilities, but that doesn't mean that I treat you like like um, like you have to jump. I don't want people to jump through hoops. That's not my goal. My goal is to encourage them to explore and to keep betting. There's that interview that came out uh, a few days ago from uh, Jared Hardy, um, is to keep betting. What I view as an amazing thing is when you fail, keep betting. Keep betting on the same bet. Eventually, you'll be right. You know? Um, you know, just make sure you know what why you're betting on that bet and you really understand. So I bet on sixth graders because I, I, I believe there's no better time in life when um, you know enough to be dangerous, uh, but you don't know too much to get bogged down. By the time you get to become a high schooler, you, you're like, you have so many responsibilities. You're not worrying about the, you keep mentioning the SAT. You know, that, that must be terribly uh, that, that they did that to you. It's not that the exam's not important. I think it's an incredibly important exam. But um, but it's, you know, it, it's too late by the time you start thinking about it. If we caught, caught people at sixth grade earlier, you could create people who um, are driven to do well and do well on that exam, not by just constantly testing or constantly, you know, memorizing information. Is that they, they will just say, you know, I agree. This is 500 year material. I should not do any worse than uh, than 100%. Well, that yeah. type of attitude, right, will mm -hmm. will drive you to do better because we we want to we 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 want winners not driven through competition, but winners who are naturally understanding that they have to win because the population, the human human beings rely on uh, on on these winners. And, um, and so that's why they don't want to give up. And having that 
that sharing, that community uh, fosters a, a whole new thinking. Exactly. Hmm. All yeah. right. Yeah. So to be continued, but tonight was great. I mean, I think that yeah. we, we've, we, we shared where I, I, anybody who has a comment or, or a contribution on what we should be selling, what sh we should be doing, uh, feel free, you know, to, uh, to I'll join do us. That. Yeah. Huh? Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Dr. You're welcome. Good night. Good night.